Welcome back. <clears throat> this is Lucian Sword, and we're going to do the Belfry Luna. This is the Servant's Quarters bonfire, right where we're picking up, right where we left off. Let's head right down the ladder. Now, the Belfry Luna is notorious for the invasions of people. Uh, there's normally an item right here. I've already kind of uh, scoped it out a little bit before I'm recording, but there's an item right there. You're going to want to go ahead and put the uh, Pharos Lockstone right in there, and that'll make this door visible. And this is the Belfry Luna. If you talk to this guy right here, um, he'll let you join the covenant of these guys that let you invade in all the Belfry areas. Um, as you can see, I'm <laughs> getting my souls. I was invaded earlier and got my butt kicked. Um, <clears throat> going right up the stairs. These are the bell keepers. They're little, really short and sometimes hard to hit. So you want to be careful when you're fighting them. If you drop down this hole right here, uh, there's a chest and another item. I'll just show you. I've already picked them up. But there's a chest right here, and there's a skeptic spice uh, right on this corpse. So, but let's continue. There's going to be two more bell keepers up here. Hopefully we don't get invaded uh, before we have to fight the boss. One more to go. And see, they do a lot of damage. That's the boss chamber, but we gotta go up here and pull the lever first. There's a lot of bell keepers up here, so be really careful. Right off the bat, we're gonna get to. They could throw fireballs at you. Watch out for that. One more to finish off. This upgraded bastard sword is awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I got this bastard sword up to plus six. Oh, another one here. For uh, how small they are, they hit for a lot. Okay, there should be. Yep. Get another skeptic spice here. And should be a chest right over here. Two radiant life gems. Alright, now that it's clear, let's pull the lever. That'll open the boss door. And uh, we're ready for the boss. <clears throat> Before I fight the boss, I'm going to go rest at the fire and uh, just get my Estus flask recharged. Alright, we're going to take on the gar gargoyle bosses. Um, the first one spawns to your left and you want to try and take him out as fast as possible in a good scenario and the second one spawns like three seconds after the first one so you got two to deal with the third one won't spawn until you get the overall boss health to like 90 percent then the third one spawns and when you get the boss health to about 70 percent the fourth one spawns and 50 percent or so the fifth one so there's five if you're a magic user, it's it's a lot easier because you can kind of just stay your distance and fight them. If you're a melee character like me, it's it's a lot harder. I recommend getting the fireballs, and if you have dark pine resin or gold pine resin, um, that helps a lot. And uh, of course, stock up on your uh, life gems. 
All right, here we go. First one spawns right here. Ouch. Let's see if I can do any fireball damage on these guys. a little bit. Alright, so the third one just woke up. Once they get below 50% health, they like to breathe fire, so... Yeah, there's that. It's good to concentrate on at least one because that way oh god please don't die <laughs> if you get two below 50% then they're each get an inferno going on gotta finish him off distance. Might get this one off. Nope. Let's try and stay patient. Definitely don't want to get hit by the fire. Ah! Oh. So close to finishing this guy off. Alright. Almost got this one finished. Probably help if I raise my shield on. Oh my god, that by all rights should have killed me. We're down to our final gargoyle, and once we get him breathing fire, it's pretty much over. Because you can pretty easily come behind him. He doesn't want to die though. Alright, there you have it. It's a lot easier if you do have the lightning bolts, if you're faith based. You're probably not going to have as much problem with this fox. I've died many times on the melee um, strategy, so if you can beat it, good job. Don't forget to grab the item over here. Soul of a Proud Knight didn't quite make it. Let's go down here. And there's going to be a bonfire down here, not too far. I believe this is a ring. I think. Yeah, Southern Ritual Band. That. Let's see what that does. Where is it? Southern Ritual. Cool. Oh, let's see you tune another spell. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna put back my covetous gold serpent ring, or sorry, covetous silver serpent ring, um, because I like getting more souls. And actually, continue on the video for the Belfry Luna. All right. 
If you were just watching the video for the gargoyle boss fight, you're probably going to quit watching here. That's fine. I'm going to continue on to the Belfry Luna, finish it up. Right down here is actually an important part. Uh, the Forgotten Sinner guy is down here. Remember when I was first coming to the Lost Bastel? Uh, the lore said there was a long uh, somebody sinner whose deed misdeed was long forgotten. Well, he's a spirit down here, and you can't see him, but he invades you. Uh, there's like probably was it one, two, three, four, five dogs down there. So you want to kill the dogs really fast because the sinner guy will invade you pretty quick once you get down here. He has um, pretty low poise, as I remember, yeah. But he's also very aggressive. Vorgil the Sinner. Freaking dogs. Let's finish off Vorgil. And we're gonna get we're gonna get the key, the Bastel key, which if you had trouble with the um, if you had trouble with the barrel rolling down the stairs and blowing up that cracked wall, this is the key that will open the door to get you to the blacksmith. This enchanted falchion is actually is that how you say it? Where is it? Falchion. This enchanted falchion is actually pretty cool. It does bleed damage, I think. Um, but I'm probably not going to use that because I'm really liking the bastard sword. Let's take a swig of Estus there. Heal up. And that'll do it for this little part down here. Um, there's a little bit left to explore in Belfry Luna, um, getting us to the Sinner's Rise. So let's get some items and we'll rest up. <coughs> we do have a lot of souls. Um, it might not be a bad idea to go uh, level up a bit just so you don't risk losing Oops, the souls. Why would I walk back when we can just warp? Let's warp to the servant's quarters. Uh, where is it? Lost Bastille servant's quarters. I'm not too worried about dying. Of course, anything can happen in Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, but there's only one group of kind of hard enemies that um, potentially might die, but... As long as you play your cards right, play patiently, and, you know, I don't think you'll have an issue here. What should I spend my souls on? Probably just going to level up. I kind of want to level up my faith um, up to 22 so I can use the uh, lightning bolt spell because it's awesome. Alright, so we ignored this door last time. We remember uh, we came, that was the uh, the boss from the uh, Lost Bastel boss in there, the three sentries. Um, and we went straight to the bonfire, ignored this door. Now we're going to go in here. We're going to clear out this area. No boss in here, just, uh, just some items. Guarding an item. Nice. Human effigies are always good. Alright, before we go up the stairs, 
let's go over here. Let's go down this roof. I believe there's an item here. If we time our jump right, we can actually jump onto the other roof over there. Um, so let's try to do that. Got it. Alright. A large soul. If you miss the jump and you fall down there, there's a bunch of dogs. And uh, we're actually going to go down there in a little bit. But before we do that... take this little shortcut. This is actually a shortcut if if you did go up the stairs that we bypassed just back there, the spiral stairs coming up. That's where they come, that's all. See, I'll just go back and show you. See, there's the spiral stairs, so we just took a little shortcut on the roof there. So glad we're past the gargoyle boss. I freaking hate that boss. So hard with your melee character. I mean, I did not feel like it was very fair for melee characters. It was much easier. Pretty much, what? These guys jump at you and explode. So you really want to watch that area of attacks. It does a lot of damage. Okay, two of them. <laughs> nothing, nothing in here. I guess those are big cages. Uh, that guy, if I can throw a fireball at, that barrel explodes. There we go. But he is guarding an item. Grab that real quick. Oh, where'd it go? The item disappeared. Well, there is an item over there. Actually, I'm going to leave that barrel. I'll tell you why in a little bit. First, let's uh, push the secret wall here. There's another secret right here. Yeah, let's try jumping it. It's kind of scary, but... Got it. Um... Alright, this is a short freaking jump. I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> oh man, I hope I make this. Alright. Oh god, that was so lucky. All right, let's continue over on over here. So many items to get in this zone, including that bracing knuckle ring. I think that's a good one. Let me check. So far, the rings haven't been that great. Oh, okay. So if you have a weapon like my flame longsword that kept uh, degrading really quick, this is a good ring. It slows down the weapon degradation, so that's always nice. Um, I think that's it for items over here. Let's drop down oh yeah that item there that's right alright we gotta get that one let's go up there's I think it's this door leads to yeah this soul here Okay, and we can actually get in this cage and drop down if we're careful. Yep. It's kind of cool. I forget what item that is. I got it on my other guy, so 
we can get it on this guy. I'll show you how. It's kind of risky, though. But for sure, let's get the chest. These are cool elevators, man. Can you imagine if they had elevators like this in real life? I would do it. I'd feel pretty secure, even if I fell. Alright, let's, uh, let's fall down on this item. Ah, yeah, it's a bonfire aesthetic. That's kind of cool. Of course, now we gotta be really careful, and we gotta drop onto the little plot ledge right in the middle there. And then, last but not least, we gotta roll off. Like that. And get back in the cage. Just again, be careful with your timing and you'll be okay. I think there's not too many items left to get in this area. We're getting close to the next bonfire as well. I wonder what this message says. Here. Alright. Let's check out up here real quick. Oh yeah, tons of guys over here. I'm just going to get their attention. Like, Usually they all come running at me. That's kind of weird. Hey guys. Okay. Ah, oh, that, that, that explosion attack sucks. I wonder that gold glowing is inside of them. Yeah, that's a bonfire. Can't get it though because uh, this stupid petrified statue is in the way, but we'll remember that for later. Petrified dragon bone. Okay. Alright, so that's actually the next area where we're going to go, and there's a bonfire down there. But before we do that, um, let's pull the switch. Or rather, instead of doing that, this is pretty much the same spot. We're just not going to jump down. Alright. This next zone is the Sinner's Rise, I believe it's called, and... Um, it's a little tough for us right now. Goodness, that was a lot of archers. I forgot about those guys. So, let's try that again. This time, not die. There we go. And there's a bonfire here, though, we're going to grab. We're going to grab one item. And then that'll end this video. Before we go up the ladder, let's go down here. Got it. Hate those soldier guys. Let's get the effigy. Fight me like a man. Alright, before we go up there, let's not get too carried away in this zone. Let's go in here real carefully. Grab the soul. 
Here we are. Hope you had a better uh, time in the uh, gargoyle flight than I did. That, that's for sure. That one sucked for me. Hello. Just gonna light this torch. And I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.